Moroi Magadini Tinoku Chinga Midzai for Shonoland. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Shonoland. Today we are taking you through on episode number four on body parts in Shona. Do make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on that notification bell and drop a like if you like this video for all those who are joining us for the first time here. And to our valid subscribers, do click on that like, drop a comment so that we can know what you want and how you want to learn Shona so that we can improve for you to learn Shona in a smart way. And thank you very much for your support. So let's get started with today's lesson as we continue with body parts in Shona, what we call Mitezo Yemuiri. Body parts, mitezo yemuiri. Penis, nengo ye pakati. Nengo ye pakati. I have a boil on my penis. Ndine mota pa nengo yangu ye pakati. The doctor told me to wash my penis before applying the medicine. Chiremba vandi uza kuti njino geza nengo yangu. Ndisati ndaisa mushonga. Chiremba vandi uza kuti njino geza nengo yangu. Ndisati ndaisa mushonga. Waste. Chiuno. Chiuno. I always wear my jeans waist level. Ndino peka majine angu mchiuno chaimo. Ndino peka majine angu mchiuno chaimo. The boy can move her worst like a girl. Mukomana anotambisa chiuno kunge musikana. Mukomana anotambisa chiuno kunge musikana. Vagina. Nengo ye pakati. I have a boil on my vagina. Dine mota pa nengo yangu ye pakati. The doctor told me to wash my vagina before applying the medicine. Chire mbava ndi uza kuti ndino geza nengo yangu jisati nda isa mushonga. Chire mbava ndi uza kuti ndino geza nengo yangu jisati nda isa mushonga. Thai. Chijga. I pulled a muscle on my thigh. Nda kwara chijiga changu. Nda kwara chijiga changu. My thigh is getting big from running. Chijiga changu chiri kukura ne kumanya. Chijiga changu chiri kukura ne kumanya. Ni. EV. EV. I bumped my knee on the table. Darovera ivirangu patafura. Darovera ivirangu patafura. I bruised my knee when I fell on the bike. Ndakwara pa ivi pandadona pa basikoro. Ndakwara pa ivi pandadona pa basikoro. Kauf. Tapu. Tapu. All the team players had huge calves. Vatambi vese vanga vaini tapu humbe. Vatambi vese vanga vaini tapu humbe. My calf always hurts when I walk long distances. My calf always hurts when I walk long distances. Tapu zangu zino rwaza ndika famba ruendo rurefu. Tapu zangu zino rwaza ndika famba ruendo rurefu. Shin. Mupimbiri. Mupimbiri. He was kicked on the shin. Akabani wa pampimbiri. Akabani wa pampimbiri. She broke her bone on the shin when she misstepped. Aka chukoka bone zore pampimbiri pa aka tadza kutika. Aka chukoka bone zore pampimbiri pa aka tadza kutika. Buttocks. Magadziko. Magadziko. I fell on my buttocks. 
Ndadona ne magaziko. Ndadona ne magaziko. The child got an injection on the buttocks. Mwana abai wa jekiseni kumagaziko. Mwana abai wa jekiseni kumagaziko. Fit toka. Toka. The boulder crushed her toes only. The boulder crushed her toes only. Zidombo ramutikiri la toka chete. Zidombo ramutikiri la toka chete. He almost lost his feet from the running blade. Apota achekwa tsoka nema panga anga achitenderera. Apota achekwa tsoka nema panga anga achitenderera. Thank you very much for joining us on today's lesson. This is lesson number four, the final lesson on body parts in Shona. As we are putting them in sentences, some of them trying to explain how you say it when you are hurt or when you want to show that you have been injured by something not all sentences were like that but we have been trying to put all sentences in that manner so maybe for today's highlights we are going to be talking on the vagina and the penis as you all know in shona we have got vulgar words as well but we couldn't say those but we were trying to teach you the formal way to say those words so when it is a vagina or a penis we say nengo ye pakati as in the body part that is at the middle that's how you say it formally and respectfully let's say you want to tell your doctor your mom you can say i have pain on my penis or on my vagina i did kuvadziwa ni nengo yangu ye pakati so maybe you have come across some other words maybe you have visited zimbabwe before and they have taught you the other word for those body parts but then we are teaching you formal shona here so that you can say it freely without having a question whether this is okay for other people to hear so thank you very much for joining us on today's lesson do make sure to join us on the next video that we are going to be posting and to our valid subscribers and for all those who have subscribed on this video and for all those who think should we subscribe please do make sure to subscribe we thrive on your support and we need you more and more thank you very much thank you so much have a blast